everybody welcome back to another video the tea on mpd and relationships hello everyone to all of my new subscribers and new family members hello and welcome y'all and to my tribe and family family at large y'all welcome back thank you all so much for coming back and of course watching another video y'all know i love to always mention our thursday 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 night live streams listen if you're not there why why? Listen, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 5. This is where you want to be. You want If you're ready to go from healing to wholeness to boldness, you don't want to miss this Thursday night live stream. Listen, jump in the chat, grab a snack, and come on back and invite some folks to come back with you. Okay. And hit that like button when you get in there for your girl, please. All right. And every time we drop a video on the channel, the goal of the day is 2.1K plus, plus, plus. If you rocks with your girl, if you rocks with your girl, hit that like button. Hit that like button. And hit that like button. And hit that like button. And one, two. Y'all listen. Rock with your girl. All right. Okay, y'all. Let's jump into the topic of this video. I want to get right into it. So I haven't visited this topic in a while, but I want to talk to you about um, the narcissistic destabilization. And I've been getting a lot of requests to actually uh, explain or to talk about what this actually is. Now, when we get into this, I want to explain a couple things. Now, there has to be a specific environment existing for a narcissist to collapse and every supply is not able to collapse a narcissist okay because for number one narcissists are delusional they have delusions of grandeur and so you have to be a person that's really strong connected to yourself and you have to basically be able to harness or re-harness your power and control of who you are in order to uh, make this happen or in order to create an environment for this to happen, okay? Because it's an environment that causes them to go into destabilization, an environment that is created by a certain type of supply. All right, so let's go. Now, when you're dealing with a narcissist, and you're, when you're in a narcissistic relationship, the uh, centerpiece of the fuel supply is usually the grade A supply, Okay. That is the person that actually holds all the power in the relationship. Now, the narcissist's job is to make that individual think that they don't hold the power. This is why a narcissist, if you are grade A supply, wants to control you, right? And wants to always control the narrative because they know that you're more powerful than they are. They already know that. But they know also if they're able to control you, you'll never realize or step into your power. And that's what their job is. And this is why they work so hard at devaluing you because they need to keep you under their thumb, so to speak. They need to stay in control of who you are because they know that if they are, if they lose control of you, this could go real bad real quick. And especially if you come to find out who you truly are in the situation, okay? So when we're talking about um, the type of supply that... Uh, will destabilize or can destabilize a narcissist, we are looking typically at grade A supply. Now, if you are grade A supply, what that means is that you are the person that's in the middle, middle or you're the centerpiece of the fuel matrix. You are the person that's holding pretty much all of the power. All of the other supplies hinge off of you. OK, you're the nurturer. You're probably their personal financial banking institution for these birds. OK, these backwards walking giraffes. I mean, you basically are like that ride or die for a narcissist. OK, that's usually what grade A supply uh, looks like in a narcissistic, uh, a narcissistic relationship. Now, narcissists are disordered and they're not connected to their true selves they're delusional okay so this ego that they have is um basically there to protect the little traumatized child inside of them now this ego keeps them in a delusional state and in delusions of grandeur and they stay in this state because they've adapted this whole ego persona to uh, defend and cover up their weaknesses, okay? So when, now remember that, because weaknesses are a huge thing that this ego is supposed to hide, 
Okay, so when that those weaknesses are being exposed, that's a bad thing for a narcissist because that is the thing that will bring on the shame. Okay, and the shame is a huge part of a narcissist collapsing or destabilizing. Remember that narcissists run from shame. Okay, so when we're talking about this grade A supply, the type of narcissist, or excuse me, the type of supply that can uh, send a narcissist into destabilization or collapsing, this is what happens, okay? When you do that to them or how it happens, this is the environment that you create. Now, the narcissist has gotten you to that de uh, devaluation, okay? And they're rocking and reeling with that devaluation. Now, you've probably been through some bumps and bruises, but this devaluation is going hard. It's going heavy, okay? That grade A supply, decides y'all decided that you're gonna harness your power you're not gonna disrespect me you're not gonna treat me like that you're not about to do any of that to me anymore because i know who you are i know who you are and not only that i know who i am and i'm not gonna let you do that let me tell you something so this is what you do those of you that have sent that or those of you that have the power to send them into a destabilization or collapsing this is how this goes down so what you do is you start to expose their weaknesses. You know, you're just weak. You know, you you can't think for yourself. You're a follower. You're this, you're that. You start to, now these are very strong words to say to a narcissist. You're a deadbeat. You're a liar. You're this, you're that. And the narcissist, now y'all gonna testify when y'all started having this type of exchange with that narcissist, that narcissist, a lot of times they'll start raging because they're trying to back you up. When you call them out on their crap and you tell them, you know what? And if they're claiming that they're hetero, this is a big one. You accuse them or you tell them. And also too, I think that you like whatever their their sex is i think you like to engage in those types of activities too mm. when you tell them stuff because narcissists that are claiming heterosexuality and they know that they're secretly you know they secretly want that a lot of times they will uh they will go overboard when they see people you know of same sex together or whatever they oh that's just this and that's just i mean they i know y'all gonna testify they just go nuts with it like oh why would they want to do that that's because they secretly want to be in that lifestyle and they can't so so when you're telling them all of these things what you're doing is that narcissist doesn't have anything inside of them because they're not connected to their true selves to really reflect and say no that's not true about me right this is why they start to rage and throw tantrums because they can't they can't give you examples or they don't have a track record in their lives that they can bring up at that moment to show and tell you and everybody else that they're not what you're saying yeah so guess what those words are hitting a very deep place in them so when you see them raging, they're raging because they're reacting to the in, the injury, the narcissistic injury that you're giving them. And that injury is causing that shame to come up out of them. And they're just like, no, no, you know, you, you see them acting up. Y'all got to be careful with this because if you see, if you got a narcissist that is violent, don't try this. You better just get out or y'all would, I know y'all going to testify in the comments. You can't, no. Because that type of narcissist, when you start to do this to them, that can put you in a very dangerous situation. That can get them black eyes manifesting on you. That's when that demon start talking through them. Their eyes go completely black. And that type of thing, that lets you know that that, that, that vessel that that narcissist is, is being owned and operated by a dark entity. That's When you see black eyes, that's ownership. When them demons start snatching vocal cords and, not, and that narcissist doesn't sound like themselves, that that's demonic ownership, okay? That means that it's beyond an oppression. That's a full-blown possession, okay? I don't care if they are in the church. I'm telling you what it is, okay? So this is what happens. So when you start to do all of that to a narcissist, coupled with the fact of you start pulling back and you snatch up your power grid and you take your power back and you start denying them uh, supply, you, you, you deny them uh, access to your emotions, you know, all of these different things that they need to survive, you know, because narcissists are codependent. 
and they're delusional. I mean, make that make sense. They're, they depend on other people for their happiness and everything that they need, but then they act a fool. You know what I'm saying? Make it make sense. But you know, anything that the enemy does doesn't make sense. It's stupid. But anyway, this is what you're doing. You're harnessing your power. That narcissist, if you don't uh, back up with the rage, they're going to continue with the smear campaign. It's going to it's gonna inflame that smear campaign. When you say, I don't care what you say about me, I don't care. You could tell them whatever you want to tell them because this is what you are and I'm not coming up off of it. You nasty, you this, you that. You, you know, you're telling them you're a liar, you're a manipulator. When you're telling them all of that, that narcissist doesn't have an answer for that. What you have done is you've activated a deep place of shame in them. You've created an environment that doesn't allow that narcissist to gain any type of foothold or control over you. And what you have done is you have gone to, with your words, you, and I, this, is, this can't be everybody, but grade A supply, you got to be the centerpiece of the fuel matrix and hold the power in order to do that. And then you take your power and you go no contact and you don't ever come back baby this way you get them frantic calls from the from the family members trying to mediate the situation this is where you hear about a narcissist going on a 72 hour hold you know what i'm saying this is where you can hear about that narcissist some of y'all heard about that narcissist actually going into a psychotic break and had to be checked into the mental institution some of y'all actually did this when you were with the narcissist y'all saw that narcissist pull back y'all saw them saw them go into recluse i mean didn't come out of the house, didn't come out of their room. They just didn't want to talk to anybody, see anybody because they don't have an answer for that type of environment. And not only that, you've exposed some of the deepest, the deepest parts of them that are very shameful for a narcissist. When you begin to tell them the truth about themselves and you don't let up off of that, that gas paddle, baby, you keep your foot stuck in their chest like that and you don't let up and you snatch that power grid and you tell them and expose them to the narcissist who they are and tell them I don't care what you say about me you this that and the third baby let me tell you something that right there that right there is what sends them into that collapsed state where you won't see them now on social media you don't see them interacting with anyone because they have been bruised and tormented by your words and your actions OK, and they, there's no they, it's going to take them a minute to come back from that. And most of the time when you're dealing with that type of situation, it's going to they need some professional assistance after that. So that's what happens when we're talking about a destabilized narcissist, OK, or a collapsed narcissist. So I hope this was helpful to you. And listen, y'all be real good to yourselves, OK, and do something nice for yourselves. And I will see you all on the next video, family. I love you all. And I will see you all healed and whole at the top. Shalom, family. Peace.